Aikman Sewage Treatment Plant. The first thing that raw sewage hits is this screen. Oh. Screen filters out all the big chunks of stuff, like this. And since the sewage is no longer chunky style, it has a new name. Now it's called effluent. Ooh. The effluent flows into this thing, the primary sedimentation tank, where heavy stuff like sand and dirt settles to the bottom and form a gunk called sludge. Meanwhile, grease floats to the surface, so a skimmer can remove it. Hey! <laughs> we could use one of those for your tub after you take your annual bath. FYI, I don't take an annual bath. I take one once a year. Okay, now it's time to get rid of the germs. We'll send the effluent on its way to the second stage of sewage treatment. This is where the real party is. Air is pumped through the effluent, creating a beautiful fountain of filth. And speaking of filth... <clears throat> oh, Lester, will you do the honors, please? Delighted. Just the right note of toxic waste. Lester, don't suck! Blow! Blow! Oh. 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 Since sewage is full of harmful, disease-causing bacteria, the air helps promote the growth of good bacteria that gobble up the bad guys. What's left over is more sludge that can be turned into fertilizer and sold to farmers. In the secondary sedimentation tank, the effluent is skimmed again. And then sent to... a chlorine contact tank. Here, they add a little chlorine to the effluent to kill a few more germs. Phoebe? Fluorinating. Finally, it's pumped into a river or stream. Or lake or ocean. Phew! I had no idea just flushing a toilet involves so much serious work. I'm gonna go lie down. No, Lester, stand up. Stand up and salute the men and women of your local sewage treatment plant. Those science-loving, sinus-impaired folks who sail the sewer seas so that the water we use can be safely returned to the world's waterways. Everyone, please rise for the National Sewage Anthem.